Hi guys, it's Julie. Today we'll be making chicken fajita pasta. Why? Because Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner and I love it year round, but great excuse to make it this week. It's spicy, flavorful, and you're going to love it, hopefully. So let's get started. First things first, let's season our boneless chicken with salt, pepper, cumin, and chili powder on both sides. Feel free to squeeze some lime juice over the chicken. I didn't do that because I didn't think of that until hours later. We're going to grill the chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins. Feel free to use chicken breast or boneless chicken thighs. I grilled the chicken for about two to three minutes on each side. It's perfectly fine if it isn't cooked all the way. It'll simmer in the sauce later on. Make sure to grease the grill with a little bit of oil and I cook the chicken over medium high heat. Of course, the exact recipe along with instructions will be over on my website. You can see it on the bottom left corner, cookedbyjulie.com. Slice the chicken into bite-sized pieces and then set it aside while we saute our veggies. I'm using red, green, and yellow bell peppers. I don't like sliced onions in my pasta, so I diced an onion instead. Don't worry about the veggies cooking unevenly. I will keep an eye on the onions and cook them until translucent three to four minutes. This part is optional, but I've been obsessed with grape and cherry tomatoes lately. They're so sweet, and therefore I don't have to add any sugar to my sauce. Plus it adds a nice freshness and bite to the sauce. Season with salt and pepper, cook for an additional minute or two, and then add the fresh garlic. Cook until the garlic is nice and fragrant. That should take about 15-20 seconds. Give everything a good stir. Let's add some crushed tomatoes to bring the sauce to life. And we are going to then add the chicken and simmer it for about 10-15 to 15 minutes over low heat. I did add a little bit of water that is optional, but I did add like about a quarter cup of water. Give everything a mix and then we'll add our chicken. This is probably the only pasta I would suggest not drinking with wine but with margaritas. Yum. Maybe some quesadillas for appetizer. Invite me please if you live in the tri-state area please. This is also really good with rice. Um, you can even add in shrimp, chicken and shrimp. It would be fabulous. So about 10 minutes later, I drizzled in some heavy cream that'll help make the sauce creamy. You may also use cheddar cheese for this or a Mexican blend. I just use Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and give everything a good mix. And then we are going to add our pasta. You may use spaghetti or penne. I used rotini pasta. Again, I know I've already mentioned it, but over rice would be fantastic especially if your child is misbehaving. I think children rather eat pasta over rice. I hated rice when I was a kid. Loved pasta though. Well, not love. The only thing I loved as a child was chicken nuggets. All right, give this a good mix. Pop a lid on top and let it cook for an additional minute or two. And then this is ready to serve. I grated some Parmesan cheese and that was it. Give this recipe a try ASAP. Have a fabulous Cinco de Mayo. Wonderful excuse to drink and eat and dance. Give this a try. Let me know if you do. And I want to thank you all so much for watching.